family. How you guys doing? Today is Friday, May the 13th. This is a video a day in May, vlog number 13. And I have come on to share with you guys my Yoni eggs. Check them out. Um, this one here is called a bloodstone. And this one here is my mahogany oxidant. Now, um, these two, they come in two different, they're two different sizes. I don't know if you could really see. Um, this one is a little bit smaller than this guy. I'm going to kind of come up closer so you guys can see it. If you guys can see it. I don't have much of a zoom on this camera, but if you guys can see them really well. Well, <clears throat> now, briefly, just let me just give you just a brief synopsis about this. And why is it that... Um, I decided to get into such things. Well, um, as I begin to grow spiritually and um, I begin to read up on a lot of things. And you know, you guys know always, I always post like on Facebook and stuff like I'm Egyptian imported and dipped in lace. I truly believe that. I really, really believe I'm like a descendant of like Hathor or, you know, Isis or Cleo or somebody, you know, to that degree. But it's true. Well, anyway, as I was doing my research, I had found that um, that my sisters um, they were also into these yoni eggs, and I was like, "Dang, well, what is it? What you know? What does it do? You know, it does it really work? Uh, you put in a rock? Is it a rock? I mean, what does it do? Right? Well, actually, these are tumbled stones, um, and they come from all over the world, from Mexico, China, Egypt. Um, and um, they're deep in the earth and um, they have different holistic um, uh, benefits to them and I remember when I was watching um, what was that Hollywood what was that um, R&B Divas Hollywood or something like that and you know everybody was kind of chuckling off of um, the fact that Michelle A um, had her stone and so you know, when you become to, you know, venture and at least explore your higher self, you begin to look at things differently. Um, you begin to uh, see things differently. Um, you begin to grow. Um, not only mind, body, and soul, but, you know, your surroundings. You know what I mean? The company that you keep, you just tend to just change. It just happens. And so... Um, that's just where I'm at today. So um, I wanted to just share these guys with you, give them a little, give you guys a little bit of background, show you guys what books um, that are in my library that are my go-tos. Um, this is my chakra Bible, and this is my crystal Bible. I know it has a candy cane in it, but it saves my pages. <laughs> and, ah, I dropped my stone. Hold on. Let let you know. I'm, uh, well, we're gonna talk about the cleansing in a minute. But, um, and this one here is my crystal Bible, and it has um, my, um, this is a bracelet that Loretta gave me, um, and it, it's just it's just so beautiful, and I was wearing it for some time, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to put it in my crystal Bible, um, and actually I have it on black oxygen, actually, but, um, so I just keep it in here, and just keep the integrity of it, because it's something that I treasure, and I just love, love, love so much. Thank you, my sissy. Loretta. So anyway, but anyway, as I was um, um, also um, building onto my home, I began to um, look into more of a feng shui type elements around my home, um, and so in which I wanted a lot of wood, water, and wind to surround my surroundings. And um, just like you guys probably would hear. Um, um, my wind chimes and things of that nature and all of the placements of the elements around my house are, are feng shui inspired. Um, I like a lot of growth around me, growth around my surroundings. I plant a lot. Um, I have a lot of succulents on my heel here and, um, and I have, I grow a lot of things to encourage, um, butterflies and different types of birds and wildlife and, um, that kind of stuff and I just like that kind of stuff 
you know, I mean, everybody to each his own. I'm not crazy. I've not been diagnosed schizophrenic or none of that old type of stuff. I'm not in no Illuminati. And I believe in God. I am uh, um, sheltered by the shepherd. Okay, I believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let me just go on and be crystal clear on that because some people tend to believe, especially when ignorance is bliss. You know, people tend to believe because you're not clowning, cutting up, um, you know, and doing all kind of shenanigans, then therefore something is wrong with you. Nothing is wrong with me. I just want to live a better life for me and I want to set a better example for my children. That's it. No more, no less. So, anyway, once again, these are the books that I are my go-tos about my stones. And in this one here, this was the very first one I got and this gives you like a background of your chakras and stuff and you have seven chakras. And, you know, the whole thing is when your chakras are aligned, you feel much better. Um, as I was also going through the alkaline, um, my alkaline dieting, you know, my whole thing is to, is balance um, throughout my, not only throughout my life, but throughout my system, you know, is to, to have balance. And so um, when you're balanced, um, you uh, once again you see things differently you begin to shed excess weight um, you begin to clear up your lymphatic system is moving your chi is just you know moving about in your body your energy is just high and so um, your chakra Bible um, will also give you reference about that and also how to cleanse these guys now on during a full moon is when I cleanse my crystals now, um, I have quite a bit of crystals inside of, um, inside of my house. I have my own, like, um, 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 altar that has, like, all of my stuff and, you know, my sounding bowls and all those kind of things are all there on my altar. Um, outside of the sauna um, is where, and this is where I do my holistic meditating and, you know, I get into prayer and all those types of things. Well, anyway... Now, with these two guys, the way that you insert them, some do have a string in the inside to where you can pull it out. When I began first using them, and I was inserting them, and then a couple of times they got stuck, and I was like, wait a minute, what happened? what's going on? I can't get it out. Can you come help me? Somebody come get this out of my pussy. You know, I was one of them. But then after a while, I began to, add, because when it's inside, you're doing your Kegel muscle exercises, and you're strengthening the muscles in the inside of your vagina. Okay, besides the cleansing and the holistic stuff to it, you're also strengthening your muscles, um, your pelvic floor, all those types of things. You increase your ability to um, be orgasmic. Um, you make your orgasm stronger, so many things. And also I found that when I, I put these in when I'm in the sauna, I kind of rotate different nights. I'll use this one, then I'll go this one, and you know, that type of thing. Now, when you insert them, you always want to put the point part in because that's, you want it to go into, inside of you like your soul. You know what I'm saying? You want this energy to go up inside of you. So the pointed edge of it is what you insert in. And, um, you know, there was a couple of times I have, because like when I first got it, I had it in for like two or three days, like two days, y'all, this one. And I could not get it out, and I was worried. And I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? But now that, you know, I'm still a novice, I'm still learning, so I encourage you guys to also, if it's something that I'm giving that's misleading and you guys have a little bit more information about it than I do, just like um, my um, other big sissy twin, Dana, um, and her and I, um, we're just on the same, oh my, we're on the same wavelength on so many different things and I just love her and I adore her. And, um, Mommy, I'm so glad that you are on amends and all that kind of stuff. She's been having some health problems, and, you know, God has shown favor, and she's on amends. So, anyway, so, now, first, let me give you just a little background about my crystals, okay? Well, first, let me talk about the cleansing. During the um, full moon, I set them outside. I put mine in a glass bowl. And with a little bit of, with some water, and I just set them there overnight, allow the, the moon to charge them, to recharge them, and to cleanse them. Also, I have a nice, nice clear quartz, and my clear quartz also, 
cleanses these guys. So if you don't want to go through the whole thing on full moon and all that kind of stuff, because I don't put any soap on them. You clean them with just plain water. They're, they're, they're automatically shiny this way because they're considered as tumbled. So they're already shiny this way. And um, so that's what's up with that. So now let's talk about a little bit about them, okay? And what is it that these guys do? Now, I wrote a little bit of it here, so bear with me because, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm impromptu. I don't have a, um, I don't have a, a, a script. Um, I just, I just go with it. But I want it to be crystal clear about some of the um, benefits thereof, and also I will um, have them in the description at, um, below. Now, this one here is my bloodstone. Okay, it's energy cleansing. It's a powerful healer. Um, it um, encourages courage, um, good, dis good decision making, selflessness, detoxes the liver. It increases your immune system. It increases your lymphatic drainage. It moves things about in your body. Um, this is a detoxifier. Um, it also balances also your other chakras. Um, so this guy here, I just love it. So this is why I rotate them because one is going to give me something and that the other one is not going to give me. And like I wear, because this is so powerful that I wear my rose quartz all the time. Because when I was wearing my diamonds, my diamonds was also kind of throwing my chakras off and throwing my energy kind of different ways. Um, diamonds are good to wear, but they also can absorb in some of your energy. So, you know, you just want to be mindful of that. So I still wear them. I wear them on occasion. Like if it's just something that I want a little diamond on or something like that, I'm doing a tank top and I just want, you know, my, um, you know, whatever, you know, and I just want to put them on. But for the most part now, I like a lot of my, um, stones in studs and, it just makes it closer to my body, and I don't know. I just like it. Okay, anyway, this is my mahogany oxygen, and this one here is a grounding. So this is more of grounding, and um, especially when um, you just erratic, and it's like, you know what, I'm all over the place. You know, I can't get my thoughts together. I just need to just, you know, level out. It would be this guy. That would be one of those guys that I go to. And, um, and when I put these guys in, when I'm in the sauna and I sit in there for 45 minutes, it make these guys be on 10. Do you understand me? My ass is on fire. I'm in there praying, crying. I'm going through an array of things. And that's just my personal time. That's when I'm there to vent and just go through my day on whatever it is that I'm going through and I'm feeling. And that's what I just talk to God about. And sometimes it's out loud. And so I'm in here by myself, so who cares, you know, what's normal? Anyway, so, but yeah, so this guy, hold on, okay. It's also a protector. It's a, it's a stimulator. It stimulates your growth. Isn't that something? So, like I was saying before, like, you know, I'm all about growth. I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to do so many different things. And to uh, encourage growth, this guy here. Mahogany Oxygen, that's one of its health, uh, holistic benefits. Okay, it increases your circulation. That's what I was talking about with your lymphatic drainage and all that kind of stuff and kind of moving chi throughout your body. And you always want to rid your body from toxins. And a lot of times that's where a lot of disease processes stem is when you have stagnant energy in your body and disease processes and stuff. And when it's, your stuff is not moving around, that's when it accumulates and it begins to erode and break down in your system. But to keep things moving... Alkaline water, sitting in the sauna, this type of stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. I drink different type of teas, you know, just to increase my chi and move things about in my body to keep things from being stagnant and to, for disease to grow. I don't want that. So to combat that, these are the things that I do. It's turning my, it's, it's actually making me age in reverse. Um, some days it's like, damn, you know, I look at my skin, I'm like, what's going on? Like today, I have no makeup whatsoever. I got lip balm on. I do have lashes on, but no makeup whatsoever. It just, I don't know. I can't, I can't call it. Anyway, um, this also, um, eliminates, um, energy blockages, you know, 
as in increasing your energy in your body. So, um, but when you get your book, you can go through and figure out what it is that you lack in your in in your life, where your where your weakest points at. Because see, the thing is, you have to get to know who you are. A lot of times, we are born into things, and it's like you know that's us. But then, as you begin to mature, and as you begin to look into you know increasing your spirituality, you're like, you know what? I really don't like that so much. My mom and them was into it, but that might not be my thing. I want to do something else. And if that is the case, then therefore you begin to learn more about you. And as you're going through this growth, you know, you begin to just, things just fall by the wayside, be it friends, um, be it um, different things you might eat, different clothes you might used to wear, um, things that you might even read might change, you know. Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to come on and share with you guys my Yoni eggs, and I want a couple of more, you know, and um, I'm going to share that with you guys when I get more. And where do I get mine from? I got mine as well as my books from Amazon. That doesn't discredit the people that's getting them from, you know, that's buying them from Instagram and all kind of different stuff. And, you know, because, you know, it's a big thing going on. A lot of people are into these type of things. So, um, and you, you, you know what, it's funny because before I was really into this, I didn't know too much about it. But then once you become to uh, look to excel in your higher self and stuff, once you begin to get into that kind of stuff, you'll be amazed that, you know, there's a, your own little community. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? I don't want to roll this into that, but you know how, like, people be tripping out on how, like, you know, um, Beyonce, where's she trying to go with things? Well, this woman and traveled the world. And when you've been, um, when you've been um, in the company of different things, you just outgrow some things. You know, and when you become, when you start to mature and things of that nature, like I said before, certain things fall to the wayside, certain things don't mean shit to you no more. Then other things you kind of relish in and, you know, and stuff like that. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to share on my video a day in May, blog 13. I am out of this one, family. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day. It's hot here in Cali. It's like 95 today. Let me go get me some lunch. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.